Hi, let me show you a quick tour of K6 Cloud so you know where everything is. When you first log in, you'll see something like this. This is your dashboard and it is a high level view of all of your tests. Now I've already got three projects here, but if you're just starting, you'll have just the one default. Within a project, you can have many tests and each one of these cards represents a test. And then within each test, you can see different runs of that test as well, all from the dashboard. Now this is really good because you can see at a glance how your tests are doing. For example, this test isn't doing too well. This is running on a schedule and the last few runs have started to fail. If we want to know why, we can click on the card here to see more details. Now we can see all of the runs for this test and we can click on one of them to go into that run. But let's get back to the dashboard. If you have a lot of tests in your project, you can also search by the test name here or you can sort it by date either of the last test run or when it was created, or by the name of the test. Now let's look at the left sidebar here. If you click on your name and email address, you'll see a few settings. The first part is your personal account settings, and the second part is your organization settings. We'll go over the organization settings later, but for now just know that you can change some settings for yourself personally, but you can also change settings for your entire organization. You can also get invited to more than one organization. If you go into user settings, you'll be able to edit your profile to change your email address or time zone, and you'll also get some options to change your subscription and billing details. This API token tab here reveals the API key that you will need if you want to tie in K6 to your CI CD processes. Again, we'll talk more about that later. Still on the left sidebar, this is the area where you can create and manage your projects. So if you click on them, you'll be able to look at the options here to go into the project settings. That'll let you invite members or change the project name. You can see usage reports for your organization, set up and modify your scheduled tests so that they run at certain times of the day. You can look at the tests that you've manually saved and you can also configure webhook notifications. I've got K6 set up right now to notify me on Slack when certain things happen. Under explore here, you can look at the integration options. We have integrations to make it easier for you to get started with your first script or test and others that help you with tying in load testing to CI CD pipelines. And if you get stuck, click on the docs link here. That'll take you to our K6 cloud documentation where you'll find a lot of information about how to use K6. If you click on this little question mark in the corner, you'll also see links to our community forum, our community Slack, and you can also send us a private message using this form. And that's an overview of the K6 cloud interface. We'll go over some of the sections I mentioned in greater detail in future videos.